All right, guys, we are back. Okay. Let's see where we are. Thank you for the welcome back, Litchi. I was kind of thinking for waffles for breakfast, actually. I mean, maybe, but I've been trying to watch my carbs. You own a waffle iron we never use, though. That's literally the only thing it's made to do. Who could that be? It's Claire. Oh, it's Claire. Hey, are you too decent in there? Can I come in? Claire, I'd like to think I'm better than decent. That's not what I... Look, just come meet me at the library whenever you can. Huh. I wonder what she wants. And why'd she walk all the way over here instead of just texting us? The library was... I believe it was down, actually. Yeah, here it is. Hi. Welcome to the... Oh, hey, Melody. Hi, Mona. Is Claire in right now? Unfortunately, yes. In spite of my efforts, Claire has been cooped up in a meeting room B almost non-stop since last night. If she gets another coffee stain on the table in there, I swear to God. Okay, thank you, Mona. She's gonna go on a rant again. What did you want to talk to us about, Claire? Did you not notice the whiteboard? Oh, yeah, the theory board. Oh yeah, the tape, the videotape guy. What about him? Oh, come on. I know it's been on your minds too. I was kind of trying not to dwell on it actually. <laughs> you know, bit um bit m big picture stuff, a little too big for my mind to deal with. Well, it's kind of hard for me not to dwell on it. So I've been trying to do some research to figure out what exactly it was that we saw yesterday. The way reality got all twisted and warped down there, I've never heard anything like it. It shouldn't be possible with normal magic. Sorry, I'm eating a peanut. Mmm, I love peanuts. Did you find anything? Admittingly, my resources are limited to my own book collection and what I could find in the public library. What about the internet? I think the library Wi-Fi is down today or something. Or maybe Mona kicked me off the network. But anyway, I couldn't find a single lead. There's no evidence that the magic we saw yesterday is possible at that scale. And honestly, that concerns me. Spooky. Coke. I'm almost out of Coke. I should have probably grabbed a different drink while I was on break, but instead I grabbed peanuts. <laughs> This is a lot more than just spooky, Allison. Whoa, geez, are you okay, Claire? Your eyes are getting wild and crazy. <laughs> I'm fine. I mean, I'd say I'm doing remarkably well for someone who hasn't slept in 27 hours. Okay, Claire, you need to calm down a little bit. Claire, maybe you should get a little rest. Now is not the time to rest, Melody. What if Javis comes back? What if next time he has a reason to use that magic on Green Ridge? Claire, you were pretty hyped about finding that place yesterday. What's with the change of heart? Look, I love a good dungeon and I thought I could turn it into a teachable moment. But I don't want to that magic anywhere near the actual town. Sorry to interrupt, but what if this Javis guy is still pissed about how he wrecked his labyrinth yesterday? Exactly. We have no idea where he is, what he wants, or what he's planning on doing next. But if there's one thing we know, it's that his magic could be used for some very, very bad things. So what are we going to do about this? Tell Faith? No, I propose we do a little reconnaissance work. We find Javis again and figure out what he's up to. If he seems harmless, we leave him alone. But if he's up to something, well, I guess we'll figure out a game plan when we have more intel. We could try putting my citizens arrest and hand him over to Faith for questioning, I guess. Is that an actual thing we have the authority to do? Are you sure that isn't kidnapping? I don't know. Probably. Probably as in it's probably fine or it's probably kidnapping. 
Claire, didn't you just say we have no idea where Javis is? How are we supposed to find him? We have some clues. Whatever he's doing, it seems like he wants to avoid being found. But he did specifically say he was interested in the Sapphire Islands. If he's still somewhere on the islands, then there are only so many places he could be hiding out. All those places are out in the wilderness and filled with monsters, I'm assuming? They might be. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this plan. You two already know about Javis and his monsters. You know what to expect if we run into another labyrinth. That'll make this easier. And I mean, come on. I don't want to bother Faith just because we have a big hunch that a stranger may or may not be a threat to the town. This seems like exactly the type of thing that warns telling Faith, actually. Besides, I thought you loved adventures, Allison. Trust me, I do. But this is way more serious than regular treasure hunting and sightseeing. Plus, what about Mel? Mel, you're a great healer, but I don't think you signed up for this guild thinking the fate of Greenridge would be on her shoulders on day two. Hmm. I mean, it's a bit much, but what else can we do? It's kind of- we kind of ran into it, right? No, we've got to do this. Well, what? Really? I wasn't expecting you to be so gung-ho about this, Mel. It's dangerous, but Claire's right. We made it through Javis's labyrinth just fine yesterday. It, if it's to protect our town, I think I can handle doing that one more time. Besides, I don't want to make someone else risk their life dealing with Javis out there just because I'm a little scared. Spoken like a true paladin, Melody. Plus, we'll have Jody with us this time. She's more than tough enough to watch our backs out there if it gets a little hairy. Well, geez. If you two are down for this, then let's get this show on the road. Let's get the party back together! Yeah! Alright, let's go get Jody. She wasn't at her place when I checked a little while ago, which was weird, but she's probably just at the tower with Faith. Oh, and after that, we should probably stock up on adventuring gear before we head out. Sounds like a plan. Oh, this is so exciting. We're finally going on a real mission as a guild. There's a lot of stuff around here. Official guild charter for the Novas. Approved by Guardian Faith A. Vincent on April 12th. 10, 13. Oh my god, 10. Founder, Claire Higsby, Jody Caldwell. Members, Allison Galetta, Melody Amarath. We're so official. Hi, welcome to you. Uh oh. Claire, can I have a word with you about the 57 books that have mysteriously banished from the magic section? Oh, haha, <laughs> sorry, I'd love to chat, but the fate of the universe is at stake or something. You know how it is. Get out of here, guys. Hold it. I have something else to talk to you about as well. Oh? Claire, I've given some thought to your proposal. Wow, Claire proposed? I always thought the tension between you two was kinda. Allison, don't make me climb over this desk and strangle. Look, Claire asked for my help with a research project. In exchange, she said she'd clear her crap out of the meeting room. Wow, are you actually agreeing to help, Mona? At this point, I'll do anything to get you out of my hair. So yes, Claire. What exactly is this project, Mona? Claire's been collecting data on the monsters you guys have been fighting, and she wants me to help her compile it into a bestiary. Admittingly, monsters are kind of a fascination of mine, so assembling a bestiary intrigues me. Anyway, I started putting that together based on the monsters you've made so far. Here's your copy. Mona's Monsters! That should be what you title it. I have my own copy of the book that's magically linked to yours. Oh. <laughs> peanut. Peanut went down the wrong tunnel. <laughs> I'm gonna die from Peanut. Okay, we're good. I'm, I'm alive. I probably should stop eating in the middle of talking. <laughs> Please don't die. I'm trying not to. Hey, if I if I die, just just call 911. Tell them your favorite streamer is choking to death. Okay, I'm good though, I'm good. I have my own copy of the book that's magically linked to yours, so I'll be writing monster descriptions as you add new entries. Do we get anything for completing it? Like some kind of a reward? You get a complete beast diary. Wow, thank you, Mona. This will be really helpful. Please, it's for a good cause. 
freeing the library from Claire's dark influence. Yeah. Awesome. Let's look at that. Well, get out there and find more monsters so I can fill out more beastary entries. It's, um... Where is it? Quest? There we go. Behemoth Boar. A huge monster that's been spotted a few times around Green Ridge lately. It's extremely dangerous and seems to be attracted to sources of magic. You're lucky you managed to scare it off. Weak to fire. Good to know. Humble Hermit. A type of magic-infused crab common basically anywhere with salt water on rubbery. Typically a minor nuisance to beachgoers at worst. I like their fashion choices. Oh, there's different notes from different people. That's cute. The species of anemone mutated to grow a pair of legs, allowing them to travel onto dry land and pester adventures. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what what just hit me? That was very delayed. <laughs> hey, welcome to the stream, creatures. Malman times. Yeah, it's happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> the Hoop Snake, known in ancient times as a mythical Ouroboros, this common cryptid is now considerably less threatening in the Arcane Era. Its signature move is to chomp its own tail. What? Are there redeems going through and I'm not even seeing them? Hello, confetti! Thank you for the confetti, wherever that came from. I will accept the confetti. <laughs> its signature move is to chomp its own tail and curl into a circle, rolling after its prey at relatively high speeds. Oh, both for you. I don't know what's happening. I can't see where the requests are coming from right now. It's very odd. I think, like, Twitch is lagging a little bit with me. But hey, thank you for the redeems. Welcome, welcome. Allison's notes. I don't care what anyone says. Hoopsnake is still one of the best cryptids. Look at this guy go. I mean, look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Meow- Oop. Meowstrum. Many have tried to domesticate the Meowstrum due to its rather cute appearance. All have failed. It's simply too stubborn. And it also spreads its spores to just about anyone who touches it. Those spores don't actually harm you, so don't worry about that in combat. But the weight of the mushrooms that sprout on your body will slow you down for a few turns. Annoying. My, I, this is my favorite, the whole hound. Oops. A common supernatural pest. They love to dig through people's trash and flee by creating portals on the ground. They're so cute. Its weak spot is the eye on the right side. Watch out when it pops back out to attack. A dark magic construct conjured by Claire to serve as training enemies in her we weird little dungeon thing. <laughs> really Mona's notes here. Once here, the constructs took on a form to match their surroundings. Thus, dust bunnies. The boxes give them extra protection, so just try aiming for the face, or just burn them. When burned, dust bunnies' dark sides begin to come out, transforming into flaming dust bunnies. These are more dangerous, because of the fire. In this form, they become weak to ice. This is just a dust bunny wearing one of Allison's old t-shirts like a mage's robe. Somehow this makes it more magical. I don't approve of what Claire did to my basement, but I'm glad those old shirts found a new home. <laughs> Allison's like, yeah, they can wear my shirts, it's fine. Big dust bunny. This guy. This guy is buff. Like a dust bunny, but big. Very, very big. Once the box is destroyed and its true form is revealed, it becomes extremely aggressive. Try hitting it with fire or sweeping its puny legs. I think I got the wrestling belt from a box in my basement. Uncertain about where it sourced the jorts. <laughs> Rip in space time. A fracture in the very fabric of reality. I knew Claire would damage the fabric of reality someday. Has no known weaknesses and has a chance to corrupt its target. Be careful around these. Most of an egg. <laughs> oh, the most of an eggs. This does nothing. It's not a monster. It's an egg. Claire adds, only most of one. Very important distinction, it's only most of an egg. Hey, Rafi! <laughs> I actually gave myself glasses. Yeah, well, I mostly did it because they're heart glasses and I like how they look on Enma. Um, 
We were having a conversation yesterday because I suspect I have astigmatism. Lights look really weird to me at night, and I wasn't really thinking about it till I saw a weird post about it on on Twitter. And it was like, I found out I have astigmatism today because astigmatism today of this. I was like, huh. Isn't that how lights are supposed to look at night? <laughs> is that weird that I see them like that? Apparently it is. So I might need glasses. Not confirmed yet. <laughs> Mobile Hullhound. A strange creature warped that seems to have been warped like the space around it, giving it a discombobulated new form. But I don't know why he named it that. Hullhounds are already notoriously mobile thanks to their ability to create portals. Allison. Yeah, but it's more mobile now. It's got legs. Mona. Whole hounds already have legs. <laughs> welcome to the astigmatism life. Thank you, creatures. I appreciate the warm welcome. I mean, I can see mostly fine other than that. Core Guardian. A mysterious, possibly mechanical entity that seems to have been designed specifically to guard the machine at the core of the anomaly you just stumbled upon. This is easily the most dangerous enemy you face down there by a mile, capable of shifting between normal, offensive, and defensive modes. Use ice attacks to take it down more quickly. We discovered a lot of fun things in that dungeon. Alright, let's go find Jody. Oh yeah, and we need equipment. You have it in one eye, so you just make sure to keep, tra keep track which contact goes in which eye. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I don't think I could do contacts personally because, um, I don't know, it scares me. Putting stuff in my eye scare me. Yeah, not for everyone. Oh yeah, there's a shop here. Look at this beautiful shop. I like the song in here. What can I get you? I want to talk. Hi, welcome to our shop. Uh, kids, what are you doing in this house? Claire, you live right around the corner. Whose house is this? Huh. Now that you've mentioned it, I don't think I've ever bothered to introduce myself to the neighbors in the three years I've lived here. That sounds about right. Allison, you live even closer. What's your point? This isn't any old house, not anymore. It's our shop. I'm a little worried about the legality of all this. No, it's fine, honest. It's like a lemonade stand, except we sell potions. We brewed them ourselves. Oh, wow, that's, um, pretty impressive. There aren't any good places to buy adventure stuff in the neighborhood, so we got some of that too. We're filling a void in the market. Yeah, where's your license? <laughs> These kids know a lot about business. Did you file the proper forms? Did you did you sign up with the Better Business Bureau? Thank you. I've been reading a lot of books about ergonomics lately. I guess maybe they have a license. They've taken ergonomics. Why did you want to open up a shop anyway? We're saving up for college. Oh wow, very innovative young children. Even in elementary school, we're already cogs in a capitalist machine. You know what, Joy? True. <laughs> Joy, Joy understands how the world works. <laughs> Joy's just mad because she wanted to spend the money on trading cards instead of saving it. Understandable, yeah? You can't stop me. She's right about capitalism, though. Anyway, do you want to buy anything? We've got all sorts of useful adventure -y stuff. Oh, right. What are you selling? I got the potions and stuff over here. And I got a bunch of armor! And weapons! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up, E2. Who lets you have weapons? You're like eight. Don't be a narc. <laughs> you know what? These kids are alright. <laughs> Just talk to us and you want to buy something, okay? At our very legitimate business. <laughs> this shop is fascinating. Is this what's considered chic here in Greenridge? Perhaps I should take notes. Oh, and here's a word of advice to keep in mind while shopping. Lay it on us. While buying equipment, you'll see little numbers next to your names with a plus or minus, indicating how it compares with your current gear. For weapons, it'll show how your attack is affected. For other gear, it shows defense. I just like to get stuff that makes numbers bigger. 
A tried and true tactic. But some equipment may offer up additional bonuses that are more beneficial than the plus one defense shown in that little window. I don't know why, but the style of your avatar is giving you flashbacks to Webkins back in the day. <laughs> I remember Webkins. I loved Webkins. I was obs that was like the first game on the PC that I was so obsessed with playing. My parents were concerned of my addiction to Webkins. I don't remember why I stopped playing. I think it's um I think I eventually like lost my account or something. I don't remember. And then like I just hadn't been able to like play it. I actually remember I was able to like log on to my account like a couple years later. And then I tried to log on to Webkins again like a couple years ago again, but I couldn't do it. I kind of miss it. <laughs> You had two simultaneous accounts. <laughs> I only had like, I think like four webkins or something. I didn't get too many. I was kind of just like the kind of person who got the few webkins I was obsessed with and that was it. You still have all your webkins? I still have mine too. I have, um, no, I, I only have one of my old webkins left. I think the others I gave away to other children, but I kept my original webkins. How many do you have? Okay, maybe I want to sell stuff. Ooh. Ooh, this is really cute. EXP sponge. I'll buy that just in case I need it. Training montage ban. Ooh. Defense and agility plus six. Hmm. I think I'll get this for myself. What do you think? This has defense and agility. This has defense and magic defense. That might be good for me, actually. Or actually, that might be great for Colton. For uh, Allison? And then, um, one for, yeah. So Abby, you can't equip a spell book while wielding, wielding it. I mean, that's fine. I think something called Celestial Circuit would be at least more than a sports helmet. <laughs> it does it does sound a little bit <laughs> maybe it's like um one of their boy crowns though. I don't know how they're getting all this stuff. they make it? Maybe. I mean, they made the potions, although they did tell me they made the potions and they were not very...
clear where they got the uh, the weapons and armor. So hard to say for sure. Hmm. Might be good to get a couple of these. Ooh. I want a map. Okay. I got a bunch of stuff. And then I also want to look at the book. The magic bookstore. Inner Beast. Ferocious shape-shifting based physical attacks. Teaches Sabertooth, Chomp, Berserker, Burrage, Thorage, and Fire Breath. Uh, Spellblade. Imbues the party's weapons with elemental magic to take advantage of enemy weaknesses. Also teaches counterattack. Alchemist. Use potions as more than just potions. Teaches potion explosion, potion plus, boulder brew, and alchemic awakening. Magical girl. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. I can get two books. I think I want to get Magical Girl for me. And then I think Spellblade might be good to get elemental magic. Mm. I do like the sound of Inner Beast, but I think these two are more helpful right now. So I'll get this one and this one. So you get magical book, and then I guess you should get this one. There. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Okay, let me save. I'll save this over a new one. Just in case I change my mind about what I bought. But I think those are all good choices. Hello, I have an appointment. If you don't have an appointment, Miss Vincent is a little tied up right now. And by a little, I mean extremely. We just got a personal matter to discuss. It'll only take a second. Is Jody upstairs with her? Not to my knowledge. But if she popped into Fate's office and announced without checking at the front desk, it wouldn't be the first time. If you'd like to schedule a meeting, though, Faith has a few openings next week. Come on, dude. We have to go through this every time we come here. We're Fate's closest friends. Just let us talk to her for two seconds. Fine. Give me a sec. I don't think I'll ever be used to this Guardian thing. I miss being able to see Faith more often. I'm amazed she ever gets to leave her on office, honestly. You guys just don't understand. This is what it's like to be a highly skilled witch like me or Faith. Your arcane talents are always in high demand. Careful with the adjectives there, Claire. Still, it's a lot of responsibility for a 24-year-old. She must be the youngest guardian in Green Ridge history. Second youngest, right? I've heard stories about a time when everyone thought it would be hilarious to write in a baby's name on the ballot in a bit in a bet. <laughs> thought it would be hilarious to write in a baby's name on the ballot, and the baby won. Sorry, something about baby and ballot in the same sentence messed me up. <laughs> That wasn't that long ago, actually. Wasn't the baby Pepper Leon? Oh, yeah, Pepper. <laughs> Makes sense. That explains her need to dominate to the world. Yeah, it turned out there was no age requirement for write-ins. Pepper was technically guardian for like a day before they called for a do-over. See, you guys always blame me for everything, but this town was always bonkers before I moved here. Anyway, Faith's a great guardian, but I'm still convinced she won partially because everyone thought it'd be fitting for the boss of the paladins to be named Faith. Okay, Miss Vincent will see you now, but she says to make it quick. Just head on up the elevator. Where's the elevator? Oh, it's behind them. Jody? Oh, thank goodness you're... Oh, she's not with you. Have you not seen her either, Faith? No. Don't worry. I'll sim I'm certain she'll turn up, right? It's fine. Everything's fine. 
Okay, something is definitely up. Faith, your girlfriend is a founding member of my guild and we need her help right now. If something's up with her, then you've got to tell me. I I'm sorry, but I have more important things to worry about today than your magical hijinks, Claire. Not this time you don't. Faith, come on, we're your friends. Be honest with us. What's going on? Ah, look, I don't know where Jody is, okay? I have no idea where she is and no way of contacting her. Oh dear. So unless you've got some important news for me, I'm a bit preoccupied. Other than the dude with the VHS tape for a head who we saw building a dungeon or something and summoning monsters beneath Greenwich? Yeah, we've got nothing. That's not big. <laughs> not a big deal. Allison, not now. Allison, I appreciate the attempt to lighten the mood, but again, now really isn't the time for jokes. Wait, she is joking, right? I really wish she was, but that did actually happen. Okay, let's start over. You met a videotape that was summoning monsters? He told us his name was Javis. He has some sort of weird space distorting magic that seems like bad news. He also said something about having to prepare the Sapphire Islands before his superior arrives. But we're not sure what he meant by that. Why didn't you tell me about this immediately? As Guardian, it's absolutely vital that I'm aware to all potential threats to the town. We didn't want to dump responsibility for all this on you. This is our problem and we're taking care of it. Claire, this is exactly the type of thing you should come to me for. I know that poking various hornets' nests is kind of an adventurous job, but if you've bitten off more than you can chew, you need to be honest with me about it. Okay, okay, I get it. So what do you propose we do here? In light of what you just told me, I'm willing to let you three in on some classified information. Provided you keep this between us, of course. Sure, Faith, you can trust us. Okay. While out on patrol yesterday, the paladins noticed some strange creatures around the outskirts of town, hiding in the shadows. Watch out, wham truck, I'm gonna hit you. <laughs> Shut up, there's no trucks. Rhett said he had never seen anything like it. They weren't behaving like normal wild monsters. No, they seemed to be watching us. Do you think that might be related to what we found? Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna get easy kyed I hope that if I get easy kyed the title isn't too obnoxiously long. I hope it's one of the food easy kais because I could get by in that. Huh. Is Streamerbot dead? Streamerbot. I think it is dead. Maybe. We don't have much to go on, but it hardly seems like a coincidence. I was hoping that Jody and I could take care of the monsters before anything happened, but then when, when we looked, we found no trace of them. I told Jody to keep looking nearby for any signs of monster activity, while the paladins and I stayed in town in case they returned. That was about 3 p.m. yesterday. I haven't heard from her since. Have you tried calling her? Have you actually checked your phone today? Something's interfering with our reception, which itself is just another reason to be paranoid about these strange happenings. Okay, yeah, we've already headed out to monster territory to investigate Javis out anyway. We'll just look for Jody out there. Well, if three feel up to the challenge, I suppose we have a plan. Not much of one, but it's better than nothing, right? I'll help look for Jody with you, or I'd help look for Jody with you, but I'm afraid the paladins and I can't abandon our posts right now. Just promise me you'll be careful and report back to me as soon as you're able to, okay? I have a very bad feeling about all this. I don't know what I'd do if something bad happened, Jody. Let alone all four of you. Don't worry. We'll be fine. We've just got to head north, grab Jody, and figure out what Javis is up to, and come right back to regroup. Easy peasy. I'd start looking in the amber woods if I were you. Oh, I got it on. I'm taking a sip. All the talking makes me thirsty. 
You know how to get there, right? Just head east from the Guardian's Tower, past the shops. Right. Come on, gang. We got work to do. To find Jody. Ridiculously expensive or ridiculously funny? Either one. Okay, let's get this. Hold on. Before we leave town, can we stop by Piggledy's real quick? I need to tell Beverly I can't make it into work today. No problem. Maybe we should grab some food while we're there. Off to Piggly Piggly's it is, then. How about you try talking to my face instead of my armpit? Oh. <laughs> nice. Good morning. Headed out on another adventure, huh? Yep, we just talked to Faith. We're gonna help her out be looking for Jody. Oh, so she told you about all that, huh? Make sure you gotta be able to hold down the fort without us, Holy. Relax, kid. If some monsters attack, I'm gonna punt them straight into the ocean. Besides, the Paladin Brigade's never faced a threat we couldn't handle. I mean, what would a real high-level bad guy even want in a town like Green Ridge? That's a good question. A question that you three shouldn't wor be worrying about. Just focus on finding Jody. We saw it last saw her heading east into the Amber Woods. That'd be a good place to start. Expensive. VTuber model 500 plus. Fair. Fair answer. <laughs> Skip and work again, huh, Claire? Hey, come on. You know I'll make up the ships later. Yeah, if Beverly thinks we got things under control, then it's fine. And if the adventuring stuff's going well enough that you don't need the paycheck, then hey, good for you. Just don't think you can bail on us when the next holiday rush rolls around. Those summer solstice crowds are gonna be ravenous. Hi, girls. Oh, and Claire's with you this time. Hi, Claire. Hey, Beverly. Just wanted to stop by and tell you I won't be able to make it into work today. Oh, is everything all right? Everything's fine. We've just got some urgent adventure business to take care of today. Yeah, we're just off to save Green Ridge and possibly also Jody's life. You know how it is. I don't know how that is, actually. But yeah, that's fine, Claire. It's pretty dead here today anyway. Sean and I can handle it. I'll definitely miss having you around, though. Huh? Oh, yeah. Me too. Was she blushing? Does she have a crush? Oh, hold that thought. Gotta get out that out of the oven. So when are you gonna cut the crop and ask Beverly out, Claire? Is Beverly, like, John's daughter or something? I thought she was older. What? Oh, come on. Although I guess we are older, right? We're, like, adults. <laughs> it's hard for me to tell because of how big Claire's hat makes her look. I mean, it makes her model look shorter. <laughs> She looks so small. <laughs> Funny, $2 hamburger, no meat. For a friend when they ask them to get the food and never texted what they want. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, come on. There's a little heart in her dialogue and her t dead giveaways. And I mean, you obviously like her, right? You always get so much chipper around her. She's just very sweet. It's infectious. See? Look, it's complicated, okay? Yeah, I like Beverly, but it'd be weird. She's my co-worker. I don't want to make it weird. So dating a co-worker would make it weird, but wearing your witch gear while waiting on customers and skipping shifts to go fight monsters doesn't? Well, when you say it like that, you make it sound silly. Claire, do you remember what you told me a couple months back when I was crushing super hard on Allison? That you should just talk to her? Maybe you should follow your own advice here. You and I both know it's infinitely easier to give advice than to actually take it. Listen, I don't even know if Beverly likes me. She's all sweet and bubbly around everyone. That's just how she is 24-7. Besides, we have what we have going on right now is nice. We hang out around a lot, and I don't have to experience the crushing pain of being rejected. Okay, but for real, Claire. You'll never know how she feels if you don't talk to Beverly about it. Oh my god, fine. Are you gonna do it now? Okay, sorry about that. Now what were you saying? I, uh... <laughs> you got this. Hope you have a nice day, Beverly. Boy, that sure was a lot of build-up for a perfectly normal statement. 
Well, let me know if you need anything else. Food, a nap in one of the guest rooms, you name it. Heart. <laughs> she totally digs you. Oh my god, it's a person. There actually is non-furries in this world. I was so used to seeing furries. Who are you? <laughs> You're actually a furry, right? <laughs> oh no, not people. Hey, Vino. <laughs> Hi, Vino. How are you doing? Hey, hair gel are in the guild now. How come you aren't wearing matching tabards or anything like that? We have our own style. I tried to get them to do it, but they're stubborn. Ah, I get you. Style's important as an adventure. It's half the job, honestly. Dress for the adventure you want, not the one you're on and all that. You know, you remind me of me and my friends when I was younger. We started a guild together, too. Oh yeah? How'd that go? Uh, well, not good. Deciding to spend much time together really put a strain on our relationships. I don't regret it, though. Your 20s are all about getting stupid mistakes out of the way so you can make less stupid ones in your 30s. I still wear the tabard, though. I don't really see my old teammates that often, but I wonder if they still have theirs. Oh, uh, don't worry, though. I'm sure that all y'all's thing will go way better than that. <laughs> Very reassuring, Brittany. Thank you. This really freaks me out. I was, they, let's leave. I can't... We, they can't have people. <laughs> Not in my furry game. Oh, wait, hold on. Before we go that way. I should save again. Saving every 20 seconds is abhorrent. Amberwoods National Park. Looks cute in here. Looks really cute. Okay, I can't walk into those. Is this an entrance? Hmm. On. Huh? Oh my gosh! What happened here? Do you know these two, Mel? Yeah, this is Beth the Beast and Mariana. I ran into them yesterday. Both of them are aspiring bards. I hope they're not hurting there. Claire, do we have a way to get them out? I'd catch Scorch or something, but my fireboards are kind of explosive, so that might do more harm than good. And we don't exactly have the time to try and carefully chisel them out with Allison's sword. Oh, good idea! Somewhere around here in the park, there's an old shrine dedicated to Solil. Solil? As in the sun goddess? Yeah, maybe there'll be something that could help us at the shrine. What are we gonna do? Just go ask the sun goddess real nicely if she'll melt a block of ice for some randos who never pray to her? I mean, do you have any better suggestions? Okay, let's go do some groveling at the Sun Shrine. That is a very perfectly preserved ice cube over there. Danger! Monster done inside. Monsters will attack randomly. Proceed with caution. Was this monster den always here? I think I'd remember if there was a big cave filled with monsters right next to the entrance of the park. Either way, sounds like a good place to stop by if we ever need to, need to do a little training. I mean, is there another way we can go? I think we're kind of stuck going that way. Let me check. There might be... Oh yeah, there is a way. Over here. What is this? Oh. There's some initials on the tree. <gasps> oh my goodness! Look at these babies! They're so cute! Why do I have to kill them? I love them. Okay, herbal cure. Auras. These are cool. Doubles effective recovery, makes total party resilient to status effects, regenerates 60 MP. Okay, sweet.
Lightning blade. Okay, they're weak to ice. Whoa! <laughs> We're making Allison so strong. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, it gets, it's getting bigger! Whoa, uh, 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 it's so big! Oh my goodness, he's so big. He's a big boy. They get so big when you hurt them, I guess. That's very intimidating. Ba bam Hey, we did it! When do I learn how to shoot fireballs out of my hands? Bestiary. Let's look at the bestiary. Frog ball. A territorial species of magical frog that's invasive in my parts of the world. When attacked, they puff up. This isn't just for show though, as their stats increase with their size. Like most frogs, they're weak to ice and especially prone to freezing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thanks, Nova. Another ice cube. There's a lot of ice cubes around here. Dead. Ah! What the heck? What? Why did that suddenly happen? <laughs> is everything lagging? I swear, like, is all the Twitch API stuff is lagging really hard right now. All your sound alerts broke before stream today. Yeah, it seems like everything's lagging and um, I keep getting like, I don't know, like I can't even see most of the requests going through. I can't tell if that was like a delayed um, redeem or if it just like, I don't see the redeem happening for some reason. Oh, did the beast area get updated? It said frog ball again. No? Same beast area entry. Shoutout also broke. I guess Twitch is having a hard time today, it seems like. That's the only explanation I can come up with. Oh, no one's see if there's something up here. Yep, there is. I don't want to leave anything unturned. Well, that is dead, just a dead end up here, but I might as well kill this monster for the EXP. Hold on. Nice. 
These are also so cute. I don't know which I like better. Probably the little snow bats. Look at them. They're so adorable. What do you like better? I have a feeling I know what the answer is, but I'm gonna humor you, I guess. Yep. Alright, we're gonna do bird song while I do this turn in combat. Lyrics are in chat. Cookie in my mouth, it tastes so sweet. When I drop it, then I go tweet. I don't know if the lyrics actually popped up. Everything is not working very well today. Well. It's just gonna be like that, I guess. Twitch, please. <laughs> Twitch is having a gamer moment. Huh, only the beats area on the snow bat, not on both of them. An extremely annoying type of monster that seems to only show up on the island recently. Even during the middle of summer, its magic infused snow and ice sticks around throughout the park. Snow bats can and will freeze you in place, so watch out. It's really cute though. I love you. I love you, little snowbat. He's just a little friend. Ooh, a loot scooter. We gotta kill it. Come on, Allison, get it. We need that loot. Doge. How's I get a chance to heal Allison right here? Bam. I hope I get a lot of gold for that. Oh my god, look at all that EXP we got. Damn, learn theme song. How long until I'm strong enough to lift Mel over my head? Hot fudge sundae. Sounds delicious. Man, this is going great. I almost did the load thing again. <laughs> I'm very smart. What's over here? Oh, this must be the shrine. This is the shrine. Thank you, Melody. Thank you. Wow, kind of disappointing, not gonna lie. I was expecting a statue of Soleil or something. I guess I can appreciate a good orb, though. I mean, hey, what if this orb is closer to Soleil's true form? Gods are weird. The way she appears on TV and stuff could just be for show. Maybe it's not the best idea to call gods weird when we're trying to get help from the land. 
Oh, sorry. So, how do I do this? Do I just start talking? Try touching the orb. Touch. Um. Um. Oh, great, Salil, goddess of the sun and a giver of light? Do people call her that? Throw in something about how cool you think it is she made the sun. She'll be able to tell if you're trying too hard to suck up. Um, please hear our plea. Please lend us but a small fraction of your sun-related powers so we may help our acquaintances Beth and Mary Anna not freeze to death. We will be forever in your debt. Um, amen? Well, that didn't work. Maybe she did something and we just didn't notice. Nah, Salel's a show-off. We'd know. She probably is, she's probably just busy. Well, I guess it was worth a shot. Let's look at the lore section. I love lore. The goddess of the sun and one of the most prominent members of the pantheon of gods that rule over reverie. Soleil is generally credited with creating the sun. Since the sun is responsible for sustaining most of life on the planet, this makes her pretty popular. Oh. Hello? Hi! You enjoy your time at the shrine? Care to buy any officially licensed Soleil merch to remember your trip? Dude, we're locals, not tourists. You can drop the salesman stick. Oh, yeah. I thought I recognized you. Oh, wait, yeah. You guys are the Novas. I think that's the first time anyone's remembered the name of our guild. You know, it's the middle of summer. Aren't you hot in that big foam costume? Ironically, in spite of being shaped like the sun, it's pretty cool in here. Anyway, if you're not interested in buying anything, I should probably get back to being a walking billboard. This might seem like an odd question, but is any of this merchandise enchanted? I can consider it all quite enchanting myself. No, I mean, do any of them have magical effects? We were hoping to get some help from Soleil on our adventure, but she didn't answer our prayer. Oh, yeah, totally. These keychains can call down beams of sunlight and stuff. Here, don't tell my boss, but I'll give you guys one for free if it'll help on a quest. Oh, nice. Sun souvenir. I thought he was joking. With this melody, maybe may be able to melt blocks of ice and cure ice-related status ailments. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I'm sure this will help on our quest. Cool. Well, have a good one. Wow, that guy is nice. I thought he was going to actually try to sell it to us. Then it wouldn't work. How nice of him. Um, how do I put it on? Do I just have it? I guess it's just like a key item. Here goes nothing. Hey, it worked! Nice work, Mel. Great. I'm gonna go free them. I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Here goes nothing. Most righteous! We are starting to think no one would ever walk by and notice us in that block of ice. Actually, we saw our buddy Bill walk by earlier, but... I think he was running late for a shift at the souvenir stand. It's cool. We understand the importance of functionality. Are you two okay? What happened here? Did you get attacked by a snowbat or something? Oh, yeah, we're fine. Thanks for the save, Melody. This was definitely no snowbat, though. We saw this mysterious cloaked figure lurking in the woods, and as two bars fighting for truth and justice, we knew that was no good. They tried talking to the cloaked figure, and then we got frozen. Admittingly, mistakes may have been made. Yeah, I think we might know who's responsible for this. I think we're definitely on the right track here. We better keep investigating. Right on! Well, thanks again for thawing us out. Oh, don't sweat it. We will sweat it, actually. We'll be sure to repay the favor someday. Adventurer's code and all that. Anyway, see you around! Thought I could help them out. Alright guys, I'm going to save here and that's going to be the end of today's stream. What will we find in these mysterious woods? What happened to Jody? 
Why are they selling magical sun charms that actually work? All of these questions will be answered on our continuation of this game. Yes, I know. But anyway, we're going to switch over to the raid screen. So hang on tight, guys. And I'll see you there very shortly. <laughs>